write the contrapositive and converse of the following statements. In this question, we are given five statements and we need to write the contrapositive and converse for each of the given statements. Now, before solving this question, let us recall the definition of contrapositive and converse. We know that if P implies Q is a statement, then negation Q implies negation P is contrapositive for the given statement and Q implies P is converse. So, let us see the first section. The given statement is, if x is a prime number, then x is odd. Now, this part of the statement can be taken as P and x is odd can be taken as Q. So, the contrapositive for the given statement would be, if x is not odd, then x is not a prime number. So, let's write it. If x is not odd, then x is not a prime number. Whereas, the converse would be, if x is odd, then x is a prime number. For writing the converse, we simply need to interchange the given two statements. So, the converse would be, if x is odd, then x is a prime number. So, this completes the first part of the question. Let us see the second section. If two lines are parallel, then they do not intersect in the same plane. We can call this part of the statement as P and this part of the statement as Q. So, the contrapositive would be, if two lines intersect in the same plane, then they are not parallel. So, we can go ahead and write, if two lines intersect in the same plane, then they are not parallel. Whereas, the converse would be, if two lines do not intersect in the same plane, then they are not parallel. So, let us write it. Hence, we can say, if two lines do not intersect in the same plane, then they are parallel. So, this completes the second section. Let us see the third section. The third statement given to us is, something is cold implies that it has low temperature. Now, we can call this part of the statement as P and this part of the statement as Q. So, the contrapositive would be, if something is not at low temperature, then it is not cold. So, we can write, if something is not at low temperature, then it is not cold. Whereas, the converse would be, if something is at low temperature, then it is cold. So, let us write it. Here we have, if something is at low temperature, then it is cold. So, this completes our solution. Let us see the fourth statement. You cannot comprehend geometry if you do not know how to reason deductively. Again, we can call this part of the statement as P and this part of the statement as Q. So, the contrapositive would be, if you know how to reason deductively, then you can comprehend geometry. So, we will go ahead and write the contrapositive as, if you know how to reason deductively, then you can comprehend geometry. Whereas, the converse would be, if you do not know how to reason deductively, then you cannot comprehend geometry. So, we will write it. If you do not know how to reason deductively, then you cannot comprehend geometry. This completes our solution. Let us see the last statement. x is an even number implies that x is divisible by 4. Now, we can call this part of the statement as P and this part of the statement as Q. So, the contrapositive would be, if x is not divisible by 4, then x is not an even number. So, we will write, if x is not divisible by 4, then x is not an even number. Whereas, the converse would be, if x is divisible by 4, then x is an even number. So, let us write it. So, we can say, if x is divisible by 4, then x is an even number. So, this completes our solution as well as the entire question. Let us see the next question. 